Like just having like Dan Gable in my car. Yeah. He's like in my car. You're, You're just driving like this, like, <laughs> like just thinking all this like he's right here. And maybe if we come together as a community around this, could we actually impact the sport in a meaningful way? Hard to kill. In 2008, 2009, during the Great Recession, it was the first time in my business I started losing money. Like, it was scary. No one's hiring anybody yeah. at, at that time. And uh, so, so, um, so I'm freaking out and uh, trying to figure out what can I do to find people like, that I can network with. Where's, who's my tribe, right? And one of the things that, you know, I had kind of left the sport when I started my business career and just I'm so, always so passionate about it, though, that um, I'm like, I wonder if there's something that, like, takes this connection that we have to the sport of wrestling and we can apply it to our professional lives. Like, how do we help each other in business, whether it's finding jobs, doing business together, whatever it might be. And then maybe if we come together... Um, as a community around this, and not just being a community around the college we wrestled for, or the high school, but like the whole thing, could we actually impact the sport in a meaningful way? So um, I realized there was nothing there. I was looking all over, there was nothing like it. So I created a group on LinkedIn in February of 2009 uh, called Wrestlers in Business, and uh, spent a couple of months just every night, because I had nothing else going on, uh, to find people with wrestling in their background, bring them into. Um, Invite him to the group, tell him mm -hmm. the tell him the value proposition of it. I would never forget. I came into the office one day, and I saw all these requests to join it, the group, and none of these people I'd ever reached out to. Yeah. So people start talking about That's it. That's cool. Yeah. It was so cool. And then in two thousand and eleven, um, the National Wrestling Coaches Association, Mike Moyer, reached out to me, and he's he had heard all about this thing. He's like, "This is a great idea. Will you come and?" speak to our um, our association at the NCAA championships in Philadelphia. So suddenly I'm like in a room talking to all these people in wrestling and I'm talking about this vision and I'm like, I wasn't even in this sport a year ago. Yeah. And suddenly I'm like, like just right back into it. And that's been just an amazing journey of just meeting so many different people and just realizing that there's other people like me who, who really find that connection to be meaningful and that it's so easy to talk to somebody who's wrestled before and, uh, and that absolutely helped me as a company get out of the Great Recession. <coughs> there, were, there, there, was a, there was a wrestler actually that I met with, um, ended up giving me a couple million dollars for the business that I met through in our local chapter in Cleveland. It's awesome. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, so that's, been, that's been a great, uh, a great ride up to this point. And uh, you know, it's funny too, like just having like Dan Gable in my car a few years ago when he was, I had, we had him come here and do it. And I'm like thinking to myself, this is Dan Gable. Yeah, yeah. He's like, in my car. <laughs> We're yeah. next to me and I'm talking to You're him. You're just driving like this, like, <laughs> like just thinking all this, like, right here. Yeah, like, this is insane, <laughs> man. I still have his voicemails for like, but that he kept it. But uh, yeah, it's just, it's been really, really cool.